Hello everyone, it's Landon in May, here with another OV Anime Monthly. Yeah, I know it's been less than a month since I uploaded my last one, but I guess I'm just going to break the rules already. This is our second OVA Anime review. Anywho, just to recap, OVA Anime Monthly is where I review an OVA that is 10 episodes or less. I had to write about this one on the second rewatch just because it, there was no way that I couldn't. Today I will be talking about the anime known as Kase-san and Morning Glories. Kase-san and Morning Glories was directed by Sado Takuya. In this role, it was only his second directorial position. This anime was adapted by Studio Zex, which is a studio who also adapted an anime called Tsukite Inayo, which is an anime that I love to pieces. Tsukite Inayo is the same genre as Kase in that it is a romance story. That being my favorite genre, I had to check this out. This anime in particular is a shoujo I slash yuri romance tale between Kase and Yamada. Kase is the more tomboyish character in parallel to Yamada, a fluffy girl who is a girly student who is also homosexual. The story starts out with them immediately confessing their feelings to one another. Though along its almost one hour runtime, it shows the insecurity and worries that comes with this situation. Type of relationship. The realistic take of this story's two females who are gay somehow got to me in the feels deeply. As to where some anime made me feel excited just at the aspect of seeing a new romance, this showed me a tale of two lovers that had a realistic affection that was just so personal, but also very, very real. And in my anime, there is nothing I respect more than an anime that respects the characters that it's showcasing. I've seen very little anime that do that as well as Kase-san and Morning Glories. Yamada and Kase feel like characters that exist beyond my TV screen. The detail and intimacy in their interactions are so heartfelt. I don't think I've personally felt this kind of emotion since I watched Love Live, School Idol Project, and Love Live Sunshine years ago. I don't want to get too far into the details about that, but the reason Love Live launched its way nearly to the top of my favorites list was, was this one thing that I'll compare to Kase-san. Not just that message of love, but unity and community and everything that comes with that. You'll have to watch both of these just to see what I'm talking about, and also to see what I mean. I know this is short, but just to end my rant on all this sappy shit I'm talking about, shows that I've cracked my top 10 favorites lists, such as Tengen Tapa, Gurren Lagan, Love Life School Idol Project, and Love Life Sunshine, and even No Dame Cantabile, all have the certain emotion that they conveyed. Sure, maybe Kasi-san didn't quite match up to my favorite that I hold so dear, but that will never change the way I feel right now after I watched it. For that reason, I'm forever grateful. To the artists that made this production possible, thank you. My final rating for Kasi-san and Morning Glories is the highest I've given in any anime I've seen in the last 10 months. Uh, 8.5 out of 10. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart.